Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to trade with 100 pounds or $100. I get countless DMs messaging me saying, Will, how can I trade with 100 pounds? I only have $100 and I want to make a lot of money trading Forex. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you my tips on if you only have 100 pounds, what you should do. So let's get into this video. However, before we start, smash the like button so this video gets recommended to other people and this community can grow um, where I give out all this free education on the channel. Firstly, I want to say, if you haven't traded before at all, not even on the demo, then don't put real money in. There's no point just putting money in, you don't have any experience, you don't have any knowledge of the markets, you don't even know what a pip is, don't put money in. Don't even create a real account, because you'll just get tempted to over leverage. That's what happens at the start when you start trading, it happens with everyone because you don't have the foundations of actually market experience, you don't know how the markets work, and you don't have a solid trading plan or trading strategy to stick to um, whilst you're actually trading. Spend the first few months, I'd say three, four months at least, on a demo account, back testing strategies. So you basically have that foundation of knowledge before you actually go onto a live account, and then you can perfect the psychology aspect of it. Because trading is pretty much 90, 80, 90% psychology, because if you can't manage the trades, you can't let your trade go and hit the take profit, but you'll let your trade go to the stop loss, then overall you won't be profitable. Say you're cutting your trades 10 pips in profit because you just like seeing blue, you just like seeing profit, but then you'll hold it out to minus 50 pips to hit your stop loss. Then your risk to reward won't match up, you'll be a negative on the account, and you won't be able to make profit overall on your account. I'd advise you to use a demo account, not a hundred thousand pound, a million demo account. It's just so unrealistic if you don't have the capital to actually put in that amount when you start. Say you have 500 pounds, a hundred pounds, start with a hundred pound demo account or a hundred dollar demo account. Most brokers will allow you to choose the capital, um, but if not, choose the lowest you can, because then it'll get used to seeing that sort of profit gains but say you have a £100,000 account and you make 2% on a trade, that's £2,000. And then say you go to a £100 account and make a 2% trade, that's £2. So it's not really the same. So once you've got used to that, making those small gains over time, and basically this will stop you from over leveraging because you're used to making that sort of gains, risking a certain amount per trade, and it will just be stuck in your mind and obviously written down your trading plan, which you obviously should follow all the time. I'd say the best way to actually build up account sizes, um, because people will say, how do I flip a small account into a large account? Don't advise flipping at all. I, you're probably gonna comment like, oh, you've done flip videos before. Yeah, but that's just for, obviously just to test myself, to challenge myself, to see if I can do it. Um, I wouldn't advise anyone to do it if you're not already experienced, because I've done it before, I know what to do. I've been trading quite a while now and I know the risk and people coming into the markets don't know how quickly your account can just go to zero so just be careful when you're trading but I'd say the best way to actually build up your account from a hundred pounds to a thousand to ten thousand what I'd say is obviously if you have a hundred pounds you can't do trading full-time it's just there's no way that's gonna be possible so I'd say have another job have another source of income, at least one. You want to aim for at least five or six sources of income. I've actually done a video on that. Um, one of the little cards up here, I don't know which side it is, um, but there'll be a video where I talk about my six sources of income. So you can go and check that out and maybe use one of those sources of income to benefit you. Don't rely on trading as your only source of income if you're not making a consistent profit from it month after month. And from your job that you're working, Trading in the evenings maybe, doing your education, trading whenever you can, but make sure you trade at the same times. So maybe wake up early and trade the London session um, if you're from the UK um, or something like that. Just get into a schedule and stick to that schedule so then when you actually go into the markets, you can trade that certain session every single time and you know what happens in the session. You know that breakouts happen at this time, pullbacks happen at this time or so on. And obviously, when you are making the money from your job or your other source of income, you can deposit maybe weekly, monthly into your trading account. So say you start with £100 this January and then you make however much from your job, maybe deposit £100, £200 per month into your trading account. 
So say you start at 100, you make 5%, you're up to 105. So you deposit 200 pounds in February, then 5% on your account is obviously a lot higher. Then your account will be just over 300 pounds. So if you make 5% of that, each 5% would be 15 pounds. And obviously the more you put in, the more you compound it overall, the bigger the account's going to get. As long as you don't over leverage, risk it all in one trade and just blow the account because obviously you'll just lose all your profits. I've been there, I've done that. I thought, you know what, I've mastered this trade and stick a big lot on, account gone. Um, that was in the early days and I think it's all a part of the process. The first account, you're probably going to lose. No trader is not over leveraged at least once in their lifetime of trading obviously. It's inevitable, you're going to get tempted sometimes, you see a perfect move, you see a perfect opportunity which is 100% going to win. But as I've probably said a lot in my channel, there's no such thing as a 100% trade. I get so many people messaging me, Will, send me a trade so I can flip my account. Give me one that's going to win. Well, how am I meant to know if it's going to win? If I knew every trade I was going to take was going to win, I'd put all my money into it. I'd flip the account every day. But obviously, it doesn't happen like that. And that's why when we did the 10 to 1,000 pound challenge, it took 11 episodes. It was, I think it was just over a month, month or two. And with that series, I just wanted to show you that it is possible to obviously grow the account, but it takes time. That's what people don't have, patience. People aren't willing to wait four months of education and then do the trading. So if you have dedication, you want to put in the hours, you want to put in the months and months, maybe even years of learning before you actually become profitable, and obviously along that time you're saving up money to put into your first deposit. It's better to say you have a hundred pounds, maybe save a hundred pounds each month, and then maybe a year later, six months later, you have 600 pounds to put into an account. And this would be better than obviously starting with 100. I think starting with a low amount is a lot harder because with a hundred pounds you can't really risk 1% per trade because the lowest lot size is 0 0.01 and 10 pips and that's a pound. So that's 1%, so you can only really use 10 pip stop losses. So you have to really risk two to 3% per trade, um, which obviously is not ideal. That's why I don't really recommend starting with a low amount of like 10, 100 pounds. I'd say two, 300 pounds minimum is the best to start with. And, and if you don't have that sort of money, then I'd just say save. Save money until you can afford to invest that amount of money because people will message me like I'm broke I have 10 pounds I have 20 pounds how can I make money trading well you can make money but it won't be a lot and it's definitely not enough to live off of say you need to make a thousand pound per month or 1500 pounds I think that's pretty average income um, in the UK I'd say you need 15,000 pound account at least that's if you're making 10 percent per month so obviously, if you put that into perspective, you need to have a very large account to actually make a lot of money in trading. And this is what most traders don't obviously talk about. They don't talk about the realistic side of it and how if you buy their signals, you won't actually get rich unless you have a big account. I mean, if their signals do win and they are winning signals, they do do all right, then you will grow your account, yes. But it won't be to the rate of obviously people with the big account so they show you their 10,000 20,000 pound profits and then you'll probably make 20 pounds 30 pounds profit on that trade and that's basically and that's solely on your account size so obviously they didn't start at making 20,000 pound per trade they probably started with 20 pound per trade so everyone starts from the bottom and then some up here some up here some are even up here so you have like Sean Lee's up here then you have Alert Nation down here, if you know what I mean. Just be careful who you trust in Forex. A lot of scammers, a very large amount of scammers. So you've just got to be careful with that because you don't obviously want your money to just be taken. Trust people that have proven results. They show live accounts. This was a small account. I was just doing a little challenge, put 250 pounds in. Next week, withdrew 356. So you know, 41% gain on a small account in one week's trading. So I'll show you that now. As you can see, 
And if we go in here, live account. So you know you can see all the trades. Um, and obviously that is using a very small account, 250 pounds. And obviously that's possible with a 100 pound account as well, if you actually put in the time and are willing to learn and be focused on the markets. But yeah, be sure to follow my Instagram, like and subscribe, comment what videos you want to see next. I'm gonna do a new series, a thousand to 10,000 pounds. So like if you wanna see that as well. And I'll see you in the next video.